I had dinner last night. We were kind of cleaning up and stuff. And the phone rings. And tell me, tell me, like, like how you would react getting this phone call, okay? Okay. Phone rings, I pick it up. And it's somebody saying that they're calling from, and I'll, I'll keep the name of, uh, it's a youth sports league. Okay. Okay, a youth sports league that I had never heard of, by the way. But it did mention the, you know, the, the location, which is around here. So, hi, it's, you know, so-and-so calling from the youth sports league. Um, wondering if you would like to sponsor and buy an advertisement in the program. Okay. So, I'm listening to them like, you know, that's kind of my soft spot. Like, I'm, I'm, I love youth sports. I'm a big fan of youth, youth sports. I'm a fan of this particular sport. And so, I'm thinking about it, but there's just something that's not connecting here. Like, there, it just didn't sound right to me. So, I started asking more questions because I never heard of this league. And so, I'm like... Oh, okay. So, like, what 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 are the ages on the league? And then they said the ages of the league. And I'm like, and then they they mentioned the town that I'm in that the kids from my town participate in this league. And I had never heard of anybody participating in this league. So I said, well, where are you calling from? And he said he was calling from Marion. And I'm like, really? Okay. Gave his name. Never heard of the guy. I mean, I, I guess there are people I don't know. I get it. Right. But never heard of him, but he just, he, to me, my gut was just he wasn't from Marion. Because I could just, I could just tell, like, he was lying. Like, you know, you know, like, when sometimes the newspaper, they'll have people call from, quote, unquote, the newspaper to have you subscribe. But they're from not from around here. They're from, like, California or something. Like, I just could tell, like, when the, sometimes they have uh, people called to collect money for the police. But it's not the local police. Like, you can just tell, you can, like, yeah, these phone you calls that they're not are not local. And local, yeah. That was the, the like, the feeling. The vibe. The, the flavor. Yeah. Was, was that he was not in Marion. Not at all. Never seen Marion, this guy. Yeah. So, was uh, it, Did it sound like an older person or a younger person? It did. Person? No, it sounded like an older person. So then I'm right there. Like, I'm, I'm just about to say, you know what? Yeah, I'll do it. And then he's like, well, you know, oh, I, here's what it was. I said... Can I get a number and call you back? Because I just didn't feel like this was Did legit. Did you call your cell phone or your house phone? He called my cell phone. Jeez. And the and the the call came up from Dover. So I'm like, can I get your number to call you back? He's like, no, I we can't do that. Because it's a call back and I can't call back. And I'm like, so you're from Marion. Yeah, I'm from Marion. I'm like, no, you're not. So then I'm like, so he's like, well. What we need you to do, because we're going to collect on Friday. I'm like, collect what on Friday? It's like, well, I need you to tape the money to your front door. Yo. So is this when you're like, no, this is no That's way this sketchy. is right? Yeah. Who? No. If, if it was a legitimate, you're going to buy an ad, why couldn't you just give, like, your credit, your card, credit number card number over the phone? Or go to their website and pay and online. Donate. Right. Fake news. So, so tape the money. It, is this to the your point door? where you're like, "There's no way," right? That's when I'd be like, "You, sir, are shady business." So he wants me to give him my home address and tape the money to the front door, and he's being like aggressive about it. Like he's he's I, sounding annoyed with me. Right. And I I'm think like, that's how are you, you out of your mind? I think that's how you know then when it's a scam is when they start getting aggressive with you because you're not just going along with it. I wish I had a recording of the phone call because it was surreal. He's starting to get aggressive with me. And I'm like, I don't think so. He's like, why? And I'm like, I don't like your tone. <laughs> He's like, how, what tone? How dare you? <laughs> and I just, I just hung up on the guy. So now I'm like mad because like I'm, I'm involved in youth sports leagues and I know how hard it is to to you know fundraise and stuff. And if there was a if there was a low life out there trying to use my league to scam people, I just started my blood started to boil. So I hang up the phone. I call the police. <laughs> so I tell the police. I'm still like mad. I tell the police, and the the, the guy's like, "Yeah, you never 
ever. Well, yeah. Tape money to the door, no. nothing like Give that. Give somebody your home address. Never. He's like, you can't do that. So I'm like, okay. I go, but you haven't had any other complaints? He said, no. So I'm like, okay, so I'm still not satisfied. I go and I Google the the league because I want to tell this league's president that somebody is, yeah, you know, like trying to use use them as part of a scam, right? So I I put my this my thing up like my rant up on Facebook last night, and I just start getting pinged left and right from people who who know the league president. So I get the league president's number, call the guy up, explain to him what happened. Are you ready for this? Legit. <gasps> what? It was legit. He, well, I hope you told him then that having people tape money to I their know. doors is he, really sketchy. He said it was, he's been doing it this way for seven years, never once received a complaint. And I'm like, wow. So, wow. for seven years, people have been taping money I, to their I doors? I cannot believe it. I just can't, I literally can't believe my ears when I hear this guy say this. That's so, I feel that's really strange. And it, look, it sounded like a nice guy. Like, he seemed like a nice guy, but I'm like... The league president seemed yes. like a nice guy. Yeah, well, I mean, I and guess, I'm, I don't know. It just... I'm like, wow. But did you, all right, so did you, then, did you then tell him that the guy that called was getting, I did. like, awkwardly aggressive? Yes, and he said that, he asked me, you know, what what town I was living in and, you know, when the call happened, because he's going to track, track down track the phone down, call. Yeah, who called. I'm like, because I'm telling you right now, I would not want this guy representing your, you know, your your league. So you got so somebody fired? Sounded, it, it seemed mad shady. Like, not even just a little shady. I cannot shady. believe that there haven't been people who see who who aren't like, well, can I just pay you online or right? pay you with my credit card? Why? And I'm like, I'm not super paranoid about people coming, like, like I tell you, like my doors are, like my, I leave my doors unlocked, like. I don't really worry about that stuff, but if somebody was trying to get a donation and said, okay, can you tape the money in cash to your door and then give me your address, I'd be like, like, heck no. Who's taping money to their front door in 2018? That's so weird. Isn't that crazy? It is 6.58. 90-second news update now. Here's Taylor Cormier. A fatal crash that took the life of a Dartmouth man is under investigation. 39-year-old David Dos Santos of Dartmouth was killed when his Toyota Corolla collided with a Chevy Cruiser.